All right. Welcome, everybody. It's a Flat Earth Nation. Don't let them tell you anything else. I'm going to take a little uh, break here myself. I have been, I've got two other videos that I'm just about set to go on. And I stumbled on this and I just thought this might be a good time to just show you how, you know, I think I have a curious mind. I'm suspicious of everything. Whatever they are selling, I'm not buying. I'll show you the picture that I came here and looked at, but first, I guess I'm somewhere in Germany, Bergbau, in Mülheim, Adel. These guys just seem all cool, man. They've got some coal mining going on, some colliery in. <clears throat> Of tunneling, I think. But check these guys out, man. I am pointing with my stick. I love these websites, man. You don't think they're so happy when they play this, you know? I read it translated, you know, it's like, it's like, oh, our regular meeting is the fourth Tuesday. They just roll around all the time. I wonder what these pictures are from. Today's the sixth. Okay. Mining. They do mining. That's how they used to do it. That's what they'd like you to believe. Yeah, they just had a guy push it out onto the boat and dump it in. They might have done it like that. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a guy right there introducing steam to the mining industry. Yeah, that's when it kicked it out, man. Steam's the answer. 1850, look at that. Started in 1850 is when, probably when uh, they took it over from somebody. That's what we did in the United States. Really been going down since uh, the 70s. Let's see what else we got. That's the mine around 1900. Pretty, pretty good for 50 years. Not far from the city limits, Franz Heinel crossed the Marl top for the first time in 1832 and 1834 with his buddies. Yeah. And by 1850, they had a full-blown mine. Red rose petal. I want to look at that one. I'm telling you, you can get so much done with steam. And, you know, to build these factories and use the steam that they have now would be nothing. If you don't think that with all of the money, and I don't care about the fluctuations or anything else, that was made in the internet bubble, those trillions that got invested in everything, it wasn't that long ago, the 1990s. 
And it, they rode that money all the way to 2007. The people that had the money got it all forgiven. They could build those factories. People could be working if they cared about your happiness, which they do not. Because vast majority of us are useless eaters. We're kicking in for death. We're going to be... Uh, Kim trailed, poisoned, uh, the bubonic plague, whatever you want to call it, their methods have not changed. When Rome, who was the tares growing with the wheat all through the millennium of Christ, learned that they could use chemical warfare weapons of mass destruction, that has been their weapon of choice for as long as we have recorded history. They've admitted to some of it. A lot of it they leave vague and you have to fill in the blanks about, you know, who did it, but it was them. History shows they're the ones that did it. They learned how to do it with rats. They learned how to do it with bodies. They learned how to do it more than likely even with radiation. So, yeah, we could have these factories. You know, there's, you know, we have a few of them right now to unload the stuff from China. But this was 1900 in the middle of Germany. Let's check out that rose one here. I know that you guys are probably going, this is too much, man. I'm what's happening with this guy. Where's that, uh? Red ruby petal. Oh, see, whenever you have the uh, translation on it, just is a hassle. Getting it done with steam. And I don't want to hear it from you. You know, I, I am all about the environment. You know, trees are rice that take longer to grow. You replant them and they grow. Naturally, there are some trees you don't mess with. The sequoias. There are others. But there are other trees that are a crop. And then there are other ways to make steam where you don't even need them. Some of the things with hydrogen peroxide, uh, the medical grade, 97%, not the 3%. To, to cause steam, they were launching rockets with it up until 1960. You, anybody want to bet me on that? That sure does look like a modern cooling tower, doesn't it? Those ones in front of the chimneys. Steam, it's the same thing. It's the same power we're using today. Where are these guys going? Let's see your gallery. Let me get out of here. Lofshink? What? This is not what I expected. It's getting it done now. It's a long way from uh, rolling it out in a barrel. They're using them robots or something. If you've ever seen my videos on the pneumatic tunneling, those are almost exact replicas of what uh, a Mr. Beach. Beach, if you want to Google that, Beach's pneumatic trains. Supposedly... 20 years after this mine was founded in 1870, Mr. Beach built a pneumatic train under one of the rivers that led to Manhattan and as a surprise announced it. I have uncovered and I proved in a couple of videos and other people have, you know, uh, seem suspicious now too, that that's where all of our reverse engineering came from. And now to see these, that they're still using it means because uh, 
they must have found well i know that they found it i proved that in one of my videos too that they had a tunnel they didn't find the intact car like they did in new york city but it was the same tunnel with the same metal ribs oh that that's gold to me right there that's why the i guess the lord had me click on this one let's go look at another gallery that's exciting. I those videos are on there with dates already. I've all over that beach pneumatic train and they look just like that. Thank you, Lord. All you atheists, you can just go and be fools all you want. That's what a you know, somebody that's, you know, ignorant enough, blind enough to say I don't believe in God. You know, that's one of the the only times when, you know, Christians, you know, don't call people a fool. That's one of the times that God says, go, it's open season on those guys. If they say there is no God, that's a fool. That's a fool. Yeah, they just took all these over. They can do some tunneling. We can do some tunneling. We can dig. Humans can dig, I know, but not like this. We could leave that mess. I'm sure that was us. These guys. Hey, what's up? I've been working this man on my life. Back to the home page, I'll play that song some more. What's this? Look at that. Miss him. Man, you got cobwebs on your coal mine, man. Get get to work. You're supposed to be proud of that. No child labor laws there. Get in there and work. This is mean. Copper. That's what that was shining in there. I thought it was a coal mine. I could make it more frustrating, right? <laughs> Yep, those is the this was during the golden age of Christianity when they were being used. Well, 1930, no, but when that was built, I'm sure you know it was, but then they just turned it to use it for the war towards the end the, of the uh the golden era, which ended in 1916 1970 during the first world war. We were much like the people in that movie Galaxy Quest with Tim Allen, where they were from another planet and so innocent, they didn't even know what deception was. That's That was the Christian's downfall, is I'm sure that they thought they were watching out and being sternly warning them and things like that, but boom. Man, all of the money from the Industrial Revolution got poured into the war. The, the last of the, the kings of Christianity's relatives got dethroned, and there were only the bad queens and kings left. And, and then they are, you know, we're all just like, taking all their royalty money and all the other ones laughing at them, but it's basically a humanist society. And it has been, if you study what happened in this former Soviet union after the Bolshevik revolution and their equivalent to our roaring twenties, where their communist uh, and free love uh, lifestyle was played out so hard that even they had the backlash of the Christian remnant, you know, go the other way, where in Russia, you know, they went back to uh, killing homosexuals, uh, you know, it, it will sound absurd, but their laws were there were in from 19... 
18 to 1928. If you were a member of the Communist Party, you automatically got to pick out your wife plus three other women, any other three women that you wanted to have an affair with because they needed to know that all of that Christian stuff about a man and a wife for life was a joke. And this was one way to do it. And it was all for the things and the people from the party got their rewards. And if you ever wondered how humans could, you know, how they could get people to line up to be so inhumane, that's how right there. That's how. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap it up. I didn't find a lot of smoking guns on here, but I did have a good time to rant. I am going to be going to uh, this map, that I, th which is why I got on that other page. This one. I believe that this map right here, and I've got a much bigger version of it where we can read the whole thing and uh, show it to you. This could very well be the, the map that everybody in the Flat Earth Nation has been crying for. And it, it sure does seem to, you know, line up and, you know, use the, the uh, Gleason's as a muffle equilateral map. It sure looks like it's the one. So if you're interested in that, this is what we're going to be looking at. And the one... Uh, the other copy that I have has uh, that other page that you saw on it that's just as big because I think all they needed, the, the guys that worry about the map and stuff, was a breakdown and an explanation of how to use it. And this might be, it. I stumbled on this, pretty cool. Hey. Flat Earth Nation, don't let them tell you anything else.